making that pass a difficult one to complete. Baker cuts, gets the ball to Trey Freeman. Two, one, stops. Good if it goes for Freeman. Yes! 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 It's gone! Freeman makes one in the buzzer, and the Monarchs are held in New York City. Holy smokes! It is the split second that defines a sporting event. Sometimes for the ages. Remember Christian Leitner beating Kentucky, Lorenzo Charles beating that great Houston team for the NCAA title, Bryce Drew of Valparaiso back in 98, and now there is the Freeman shot. I'm Bruce Rader. It is the shot seen around the sports world today, the highlight of the day on ESPN, the key play on every network, the most viewed local sports story this month on wavy.com up by 10 points in the final four minutes the visiting racers from murray state raced back and cut the lead to three in their quarterfinal game against old dominion then tied it on that three-point shot by jeffrey moss with 3.8 seconds left odu had one last chance to avoid overtime they got the ball the length of the court someone would have had to hit a desperation shot at the buzzer and provide one of the most exciting finishes in school history and that someone would be Trey Freeman. Old Dominion wins 72 to 69 on Freeman's running three-pointer sending the Monarchs to the NIT semifinals at Madison Square Garden in New York City and only Trey can explain how it felt. When I released my hand it felt good but it was pretty deep so I wasn't sure if the ball was going to pop out or whatever but yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to hit backward or not, but I just tried to put it online and basically hope for the best. I can't say that I, I can remember uh, in, in practice the, it working the, the, the same way, but uh, you know, you guys, guys knew what they were supposed to do, and, and Trey made the, the right decision. We didn't want him passing it. We said, you got time for two dribbles. I'll take it strong. If there's contact, play through the contact and, and get up the best shot that you can. The Monarchs will play Stanford in famed Madison Square Garden Tuesday night for a trip to the championship game. A remarkable turnaround for a team that was only 5-25 before Coach Jeff Jones arrived in Norfolk less than two years ago. You know, we're really excited about going up to New York. A lot of us haven't been there and also the opportunity to play in basketball mecca, you know, Madison Square Garden. but. We, we understand that we have a goal and we're trying to take it one game at a time. We have worthy opponents that will be there as well and we're just trying to make the most of it. And we know Stanford is going to be tough. So we're just preparing, we're starting to prepare as soon as possible for these games. I'll have much more on this incredible story in the sports of the day coming up tonight at 1045 on the Fox 43 Sports Wrap and I'll see you guys back here at 11. That was pretty exciting, wasn't it? Yes. Was great. Oh my goodness. Still Love is. Yeah.